Hello, this is Jay, and here is a weekly briefing from Pongo Techno Valley. First, here are the main news. Airability aims to lead global market with next generation aerial mobility solution eVTOL AB0. Airability is pioneering the global aerial mobility market with its high speed electric eVTOL aircraft, the AB0, designed for emergency logistics, surveillance, and disaster response. The AB0, which targets commercialization by 2025, features electric propulsion and a hybrid energy system. It can achieve speeds up to 200 km per hour with low noise, ideal for urban applications like wildfire monitoring and anti-drone operations. Airability is preparing for a pre-series A funding round to develop and commercialize its innovative aerial solutions. Next. UniUni Uni leads in privacy protection and restroom safety with AI solution, building future-oriented safety network. UniUni Uni is advancing safety in privacy-sensitive areas with its AI-based technology, Savvy for Accessible. Designed for accessible restrooms, this innovative solution operates without cameras and uses AI to analyze non-identifiable data to detect emergencies in real time. It is now implemented in over 500 locations in Korea, with support from significant funding and strategic placement in Pangyo Techno Valley Startup Campus. UniUni Uni is set to increase its market presence and continue its development. Following this, Soombeat.ai secures 5 billion Korean won seed investment from Altos Ventures. Soombeat.ai has secured approximately $3.6 million in seed investment from Altos Ventures to develop its AI-based radiology solution, AI Read CXR. This tool aims to enhance radiologist efficiency and accuracy by providing personalized preliminary interpretations of chest x-rays. With plans to expand its AI services to other imaging modalities, Soombeat.ai is positioned to significantly impact the global medical interpretation market, supported by a team with a strong background in AI and healthcare. And now, here are the headlines. 2B signs MOU to distribute smart boarding terminal for fishing boats nationwide, promoting digital transformation of boarding management systems. Marine IoT company 2B Corp has partnered with Korea Fishing Association and Shin A Corp to launch fingerprint-based smart boarding terminals for fishing boats across Korea, enhancing safety and operational efficiency. The initiative aims to streamline identity verification, departure reporting, and boarding processes, advancing the digital transformation in the fishing tourism sector. Next. Kyunggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation selects 10 startups for KT Collaboration launches commercialization. The Kyunggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation, GCCEI, has selected 10 startups for its 2024 KT Collaboration program, which fosters partnerships between KT and innovative startups. This year's highly competitive program will support three months of business collaboration to advance commercialization efforts through GCCEI and KT's backing. Following this, Team Naver showcases smart cities with digital twin technology at Saudi Arabia's Cityscape Global. Team Naver, collaborating with Saudi Arabia's national housing company and Korean partners, is showcasing its digital twin platform project at Cityscape Global 2024 in Riyadh. With immersive displays simulating urban planning and flood scenarios, Team Naver emphasizes its role in Saudi Arabia's smart city initiatives and aims to expand its digital twin technology further in the Middle Eastern market. Next, NCSoft reveals Q3 2024 financial results, maximizing creativity and innovation for sustainable growth. NCSoft reported Q3 2024 revenue of 401.9 billion Korean won, a 9% increase from the previous quarter, but a 5% year-over-year drop, with an operating loss of 14.3 billion Korean won due to increased marketing expenses. To strengthen its future competitiveness, NCSoft is launching new studios for major IPs, including Throne in Liberty and LLL, and establishing an AI-focused entity with global releases of new titles planned throughout 2025. Thanks for listening. See you next week.